This is the last tiger survivor of Indonesia, a fruit-loving killer with an appetite of men, the smallest race of tiger with the largest canines and the thickest mane. I'm talking about the Sumatran tiger, the king of Indonesia, a living flame in the emerald depths of Sumatra. This is no mere cut, but a legend wrapped in fur and muscle, the last of its kind to stalk the misty jungles of Sumatra. It's a predator, perfectly adapted, that it can glide through the dense rainforest like a whisper. It moves with the silent confidence of an apex predator. Every step, a testament to millions of years of evolution. This is no ordinary cut. This is nature's masterpiece, a living work of art honed by the crucible of island isolation. Tiger, tiger, oh Sumatran tiger, eyes of amber piercing bright, stalking through the jungle night. Muscle ripple beneath striped fur, a living flame, a feral blur, smaller than kin yet fierce and proud, king of a realm, green and cloud shroud. The Sumatran tiger, the most elusive, the rarest, the most adapted of all other tigers, a cat with a reputation, silent and deadly, and breathtakingly beautiful. It's a superstar that rarely takes center stage, preferring instead to rule its domain from the shadows of the bush. To witness a Sumatran tiger in its natural habitat is to glimpse a living legend, a creature of thigh myth made flesh. What statistical secret does it hold? What genetic and behavioral adaptations does it own? And what plight and what hope does it have in our ever-changing world? So, let's begin. And before we do that, I just want to say welcome to Haiwan. It's the channel that talks about unique animal subspecies. And we are embarking on our first season dedicated to exploring each and every subspecies of big cat. If our vision of bringing these magnificent creatures into your eyeballs resonates with you, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for weekly big cat subspecies content. And now let's begin. Now first thing first, let's talk tiger anatomy. Smaller than its continental cousins, but packing a serious punch, as it's the lightweight champion of the tiger family, as this cut packs more punch than a caffeinated kangaroo. And moving to its lethal form, typically reaching lengths of 6 to 8 feet and weighing between 165 to 308 pounds, is perfectly adapted to slip through the dense jungles with liquid grace. They are the Lux Jungle Camo package that has darker and closely spaced stripes contrasting against a vibrant orange in a canvas of nature's artistry. With stripes as unique as fingerprints, it's like a built-in barcode etched in midnight hues against a flame bright orange background. Serves as the perfect camouflage in the dapper light of the rainforest. It's nature's own invincibility clock, allowing these predators to materialize from the foliage like a living shadows unseen and unheard until the moment of strike. But it's not just the size that sets this tiger apart Webbed toes, a testament to its semi-aquatic lifestyle, allowing this aquatic cat to navigate Sumatra's numerous waterways with ease. It also have shorter, thicker fur that shields it from tropical downpours, while exceptionally long whiskers aid in navigating in the dim forest understory, and behind their whiskers comes their luxurious tiger man. Thicker, longer, and denser than any other tiger subspecies, giving this tiger a certain look. It's like a tiger's answers to the lion's monopoly of manes. And so that said, this magnificent creature stands as the last of Indonesia's tigers, a poignant reminder of once wars. Its fallen homies, the Javan tiger and the Bali tiger have long since faded into the mists of extinction. 
as they were voted off the evolutionary island, leaving our Sumatran protagonist to carry the torch of the entire genetic legacy. And now, let's hop into their home address. Well, their real estate starts from the misty mountaintops to swampy mangrove lowlands. Once the whole island was tiger country, but today its kingdom has shrunk dramatically, confined to fragmented pockets of rainforest and rugged terrains of national parks. These last bastions of wilderness, which are Gunung Leuser, Kerensi Seblat, and Bukit Barisan Selatan now serves as the final strongholds of these underrated yet endangered icon of a tiger. And with a lifespan of 15 to 20 years in the wild, each tiger's journey is one of constant adaptations and survival. And when it comes to love, they're not too picky about timing, but they mostly do the unspeakable when the prey is most abundant. As its cycle of life continues, as tigresses carries their precious cargo for about 103 days, eventually giving birth to two to three cubs in secluded dens. These tiny striped potatoes, blind and helpless at birth, but will quickly grow into adorable killing machines, representing hope for the future of their species. And now, you might think that being smaller means being slower, but you'd be wrong. Sumatran tigers are no less impressive in their physical capabilities, as they can reach sprinting speeds of up to 40 miles per hour in short bursts, a blur of orange and black throughout the green tapestry of the forest. And once they get their victims, the Sumatran tiger has the largest canine teeth of all tiger subspecies, as their canines can reach lengths of around 3 inches, which is 7.6 centimeters, making them particularly effective for gripping and holding into prey. And yet, for all their power and majesty, Sumatran tigers teeters on the brink of extinction, classified as critically endangered with fewer than 400 individuals left in the wild. Their future hanging on by their beautifully webbed feet, each tiger lost is not just a tragedy for the species, but a blow to the delicate ecosystem they help maintain. This magnificent creature, forged in the crucible of island isolation, carries within its cells a story of survival, resilience, and uniqueness that sets it apart from its continental cousins. And within the intricate dance of nucleotides that makes up the Sumatran tiger's genome lies a fascinating tale of accelerated evolution. These tigers are evolving faster than a teenager's excuse for missing homework, while other species are taking the scenic route on the evolutionary highway. Sumatran tigers are in the fast lane, windows down blasting eye of the tiger at full volume. They are the Usain Bolt of genetic adaptation, leaving their continental cousins in the dust and wondering what just happened. But the genetic uniqueness of the Sumatran tigers goes beyond mere diversity. These cats possess specific gene variants that set them apart from all other tigers. Take for instance the ADH7 gene, crucial for the metabolism of alcohol and retinol. That's right, these cats could theoretically handle their jungle juice better than your average college freshman. As in Sumatran tigers, these genes show signs of positive selection, potentially linking their fruit-rich diet, a characteristic uncommon in other tiger subspecies. It's as if these tigers have developed their own genetic sommelier, fine-tuning their ability to process the diverse bounty of the rainforest. And the Sumatran tiger's genome also reveals a remarkable resistance to certain diseases, as these tigers have also won the immunological lottery. Specific mutations in their immune-related genes provide enhanced protection against infections that might ravage other tiger populations. It's nature's genetic armor forged over millennia to shield these magnificent beasts from the myriad of threats lurking in their tropical paradise. But 
Perhaps the most intriguing is their genetic evidence of the Sumatran tiger's ancient origins. The DNA whispers of a time long past where these cats first colonized the islands of Indonesia. It carries the echoes of extinct subspecies, such like the Javan and the Bali tigers. It's like they're walking around with the entire family reunion in their DNA, preserving its genetic code, a living link to their lost cousins. As the Sumatran tiger is not just a species, but a genetic arc, carrying forward the legacy of Indonesia's apex predators. And so that said, let's hop into their behavioral adaptations. The Sumatran tiger, forged by millennia of evolution, has developed a suite of behavioral adaptations as unique and awe-inspiring as the jungle it calls home. First up, let's talk about their swimming skills. These stripy daredevils have decided that being a land predator isn't just cool enough. No, they had to go and become the Michael Phelps of the tiger world. These striped part-time marmots glide through the rivers and swamp with the grace of the otter. Their webbed feet, a testament to nature's ingenuity, where other tigers might shy away from water, the Sumatran tiger embraces it, turning streams and pools into their personal seafood buffet. It's as if these cats have unlocked a cheat code in the game of jungle survival effortlessly navigating a world of water and land. But perhaps the most intriguing is the Sumatran tiger's adaptability in prey selection. In their home range filled with less oversized ungulates like my recent subscribers, the Sumatran tigers don't just shrug and go on a diet. No, dear viewer, they become the ultimate opportunistic foodies, incorporating smaller mammals, birds, and even fish into their diet. This flexibility is not just a matter of survival, but a testament to their intelligence and adaptability. And now, how does the Sumatran tiger's bugs its lunch meat? Well, the Sumatran tiger's hunting techniques are a marvel of precision and patience. They've perfected the art of the ambush, often waiting for hours in absolute stillness of a statue before exploding into action. This is not mere instinct but a calculated strategy honed by generations of jungle living. In their pose, hunting becomes a chase game. Each move carefully considered, each strategy tailored to the specific prey and terrain. They are also the best tree climbing cats out there. Although their climb is not as graceful as the leopards, the Sumatran tiger can race vertically to grab a sleeping colugo in a blink of an eye. But here's where it gets really wild. There is this issue with the consumption of the primate you shouldn't consume as a tiger. The issue of man-eaters. Sadly, it's very common among the Sumatran tiger because they are living in a habitat with very few megafauna to hunt and their adaptations to hunt primates including monkeys and orangutans made humans just another tailless giant biped monkey. And I'm not saying this to defame the tiger, but to understand that these animals operate on instinct. And once there is easy prey in their territory, you know what will happen, whether the prey is a human or not. And lastly, in the grand ecosystem of Sumatra, these tigers are like the landlords of the jungle. As in their role as complex predators, Sumatran tigers shape the very ecosystem they inhabit. Their presence cascades through the food web, influencing the behavior and populations of species far beyond their prey. They are the gardeners of the forest, their very existence essential to the health and balance of Sumatra's rich biodiversity. And speaking of destruction of biodiversity, let's move into their plight and conservation efforts. Once these tigers roam freely across the island, their roars echoing through the valleys and over mountaintops, now their realm has shrunk to fragmented pockets of green island of wilderness in a sea of plantations and human settlements. With fewer than 400 individuals left in the wild, each Sumatran tiger becomes a precious guardian of its species' future, a living link to an ancient lineage 
that stretches back millions of years. The threats they face are as diverse as they are daunting. Habitat loss carves away their territory, turning lush forests into orderly rows of oil palms. And also poaching casts a dark shadow driven by an insatiable market for tiger parts. Human-tiger conflict rises as their paths increasingly intersect. A clash of worlds that often ends in tragedy for both sides. Yet in the face of these challenges, hope persists. Conservation efforts fueled by passion and science fight to turn the tide. Dedicated teams of researchers and rangers brave the depths of the jungle, tracking these elusive cuts, gathering crucial data and standing guards against those who will do them harm. Their work is a testament to human determination, a refusal to let this iconic species slip away into the annals of extinction. And innovative approaches emerge in this battle for survival. Habitat corridors are being established, which are green lifelines allowing tigers to move between isolated forest patches. Community-based conservation programs work to transform local attitudes turning former adversaries into staunch allies of the tiger. And in the realm of technology, camera traps and satellite images become the eyes and ears of conservationists, revealing the secret lives of these enigmatic predators. And so that said, each conservation success, no matter how small, ripples out to affect the entire ecosystem. In saving the Sumatran tiger, we preserve not just a single species, but the delicate web of life that depends on its presence. The tiger becomes a symbol of hope, a flagship for the preservations of Sumatra's rich biodiversity. And before I wrap this video up, you'll need to find out what is the allure behind their giant cousin Siberian tiger in the video box. And as always, stay curious, stay wild, and thank you very much for watching.